Suppose we have two points. Suppose that we have the point P. with coordinates x1, y1 as subscripts, okay? And suppose we have the point Q with coordinates x2, y2. As you know, we've already seen this with lines when we're talking about two different points in general. We call them x, y, but give them subscripts so that Okay. Now, let's say that this is the point P, and it has coordinates x1, y1. And let's say that this is the point Q, y2. We're interested in knowing what the distance between those two points is. So we're going to be interested in knowing what the length of this line is. Okay. We're going to do that in the same way that uh, we did with the earlier problem. We can either form a right triangle this way, so we'll drop a perpendicular to about the level of point Q through the x-axis from point P, and from Q we'll drop a perpendicular to the side through the y-axis, and we're going to form the point R. Okay. Now, Notice that this point R right here is as far from the y-axis as the point P, so its x coordinate is going to be x1. R is as far below the x-axis as the point Q is, so its y-coordinate is going to be the same as the y-coordinate of point Q. That this is a right triangle, and so let's think about a and B being the legs of the right triangle, here's the right angle, and C being the hypotenuse. And what we're interested in is finding that distance D. Okay. So now we need to know what B is, what the length of B is. Remember that in, as we did earlier, the X coordinates are the same, so B is going to be the value of Y1 minus Y2. A is going to be, notice that Q and R have the same Y coordinate, so A is going to be the difference of the X coordinate. So it's going to be the absolute value of X1 You're taking the absolute values, that doesn't make any difference at all. Now, remember again the Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Let me write this as c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay. Now, what is a? Well, a is the absolute since we have a squared. b is the difference of the y coordinates, so that's going to be the difference, the absolute value of the difference of the y coordinates, and we're squaring the b, so it's going to be squared. This is equal to c squared, okay? But we're not interested in the square of the distance. We're interested in the distance. So let's take the square root, and we're going to take the positive square root as before. And so we're going to say c equals the absolute value of x1 minus x2, the quantity squared, plus the absolute value of y1 minus y2, the quantity squared. But we have the square of the C is the same thing as x1 minus x2, the quantity squared, plus y1 minus y2, the quantity squared. And that's what we were interested in, the length of C, which is the distance. So we find this is, and I like to remember it in words. I think sometimes when you remember something in words, you tend to remember it a little bit longer. It's the difference, the, the square root of the difference of the x coordinate squared of the y coordinate squared. That's the distance formula. Okay. So to recap then, if we have any two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, 
The distance formula is given by the square Let's use this distance formula to do one problem. Suppose that we have the coordinates minus 3, comma 7 and the point Q with coordinates 4, comma negative 9. Let's find the distance between P and Q. Sometimes that's expressed like this, the distance between segment PQ. Okay. So remember in words, it's the square root of the difference of the x-coordinates squared. So the x-coordinates are minus 3 minus 4, the quantity squared, plus the difference of the y-coordinate squared, 7 minus a minus 9, the quantity squared. Okay. It doesn't make any difference if you start out with 4, 4 minus a minus 3, because you're going to end up with 7. Order doesn't make any difference in the distance formula. Remember, it makes a difference in the slope formula, but not in the distance formula. So what is this distance? This is going to be the same thing as 7 squared plus 7 49 plus 16 squared is 256. And so we end up with 9 and 6 is 5, carry 1. Uh, 5 and 5 is 0, carry 1, 305, the square root of 305. We could simplify that, and if we wanted actually to find the number, um, the approximation for this number, we could put that into a calculator and find that, find that value, okay? Distance formula, it's an important formula to remember.